Hello everyone, this is Saido here. Um, in this particular video today, uh, we will discuss about how can you check the service status um, in your local machine and in remote machine. So first we will see how can you check the service status in your local machine and then uh, we will see how can you check the service status in a remote machine. Right, okay. So. Uh, before you before you start to start to checking the service status uh, in in my local machine I have a um, SQL server installed so what I'm going to do I'm going to check uh, the uh, SQL server related uh, service uh, if they're up or down so I'm going to check all the service those are SQL server related so to check the local uh, service status in the local machine those are SQL server related uh, you just have to type a command called get service as you can see the recommendation here then you have to time underscore and name then you can say sql uh, as you can see when you time the sql uh, by default your your tools the ide automatically showing you the recommendation what kind of uh, what kind of uh, the service they are running in your local machine those are sql server Related. As you can see, there are a few of them called MS SQL Prod, uh, Prod NY, Prod USA, and we can see SQL Agent Prod and Prod NY, Prod USA. So, if you want to see any particular, if you want to see any particular, uh, you know, any particular ser particular service status, you just have to select one of them, and it will get selected. Then, if you just click uh, select all of them and click on Run Selection, then you will see. The status is staff name of the service is SQL agent and display name is this. So, in this particular video, we're trying to see all the services those are related to the SQL server if they're up or down. So, to check this kind of uh, to 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 do this kind of uh, tasks, you have to type cache service. Uh, then you have to type the name right then you have to type sql so we are not selecting any particular uh, service from uh, from here as our ide recommending we'll just write sql then you'll say star sign asterisk there so if you select all of them and click on run selection then you will see all the services service status will be appear here if they are up or if they are down as you can see the stop the sql agent port ny is stopped and sql agent port ny is running so all of the service status you can see here those are related with sql that means sql server all right so let's let's try to see let's tell us how can we check the service status in the remote machine all right so uh to check the service status uh, in the remote machine since I don't have any any remote machine right now I'm going to use my local computer computer name as a remote machine and then I will check the service status and if you have that if you have the remote machine you can use same line of code and just change the name change the name name of your your machine and you can use same line of code and it will give you as a result as you want all right so let's, let's find out what is the name of the machine all right, so I'm going to run this code and I will find out the name of the machine is called desktop this. I'm going to select all of them for now. Right, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to think I'm going to imagine this is my remote machine. Right? Remote machine. And I see it okay so what i'm going to do red uh, let's write a code get service get service underscore computer name you remember computer name and now you have to put the computer name here your remote computer name so as we are thinking these are remote computer name we're going to select this computer name we're going to put it there and then you're going to do the slash name then you're going to see sql then we will start with um, with star or asterisk there. Okay. Uh, sorry. SQL asterisk. Okay. So what did you get? Service computer name. This is the name of the computer. Our remote computer name. And we are what we are doing. We are checking all the services. Those are SQL server related. So select all of them and click on run as a selection. 
and then you can see all the service will appear there as you can see all the service will appear there if they are running or not if they are up or if they are down so this is the way we can check your service status on the remote machine as well as in the local machine thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next video bye bye